So what we've got going on here, I got a Renology panel, it's 80 watt, and I've gone with these brackets here. And this is going on the roof, and there's the model. This is my first time using them. I wasn't gonna come up with my own kind of bracket. And uh, here's the panel that I'm using. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but uh, this, they've always been very consistent on the quality of the product that arrives when I order it. So uh, next step, I'm gonna be mounting it on the roof and I don't have three hands, so I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. On the ladder. There you have you. So it's on these brackets. I use uh, roofing screws. I'll go with some RV self-leveling roof caulk and put it here. I'm not gonna put it on today. It's only in the 40s. I need to warm up. If it leaks right now, it's just gonna leak on the deck. So I'll show you another angle here. We'll go on the other ladder. I had to climb on top of the roof. Here's, here's you another angle. The wind is brutal. So I'm sure the camera's just picking it all up. I'm not gonna go back on the roof. The wind's pretty high. But you can see the bracket and then I've got it angled. The sun comes up, and then here will be the late afternoon sun, so I want to get a little best, bit of the best of both worlds for this. So with that angle, winter and summer, I should be pretty good. I don't really want it to run the summer, but uh, falls are hot and springs are hot here too. So the uh, next step be wiring it up. So it's all done. I've got the conduit going up, and I'll get a little closer in a bit. You can see the panel. Let me get my finger. Boom, it's right there. I've got this loom to protect the wire from uh, UV. I've got a drip loop there because eventually I'll have a gutter going all the way down through here. So there's the conduit going underneath the deck, going to the window. Let's go see how it works. We're gonna go for a little walk. And uh, I highly recommend this. This is just a easy, I'd say a fairly easy way to get some air flowing in a cabin. Go with screen doors, open the windows with screens, get a breeze. So, uh, still working on the cabin, work in progress. So, uh, here we go. Let's try it. There's a switch. There we go. 80 watts too. This thing will move a lot of air. I do not have it on a battery. Uh, the sun's shining, the heat's making. That'll move the air. If, if, the, if it's shady, I don't need it. So, I'm not going to run a battery on it. I've got uh, fans in the windows for, uh, and other windows that run off the battery, they're endless breeze, they use no power, hardly any power. So let's go just check the other one, turn this off, reduce the noise. There it is, like I said, and here's an inline fuse. And we'll go to the other one real quick. Show you how it works. And I've got it on another panel out in the yard. Back here's the switch. There you go. This is a smaller one that's 80 watt. I decided to go bigger, figure bigger, would move more air. So this works. Doesn't get any easier. And I've got these mounted on burglar bars. That's for the meth heads. So, uh, and they're swingable. That way if there's a fire, you can get out of the cabin. It makes it an easy way to mount this stuff too. So I appreciate you watching and please subscribe. God bless.